Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. My name is Roslyn Kihamba. If you're new here, ensure you click the subscribe button because we produce good videos on relationship, faith, and family. So click the subscribe button followed by the notification bell and be part of this family. For them that are returning, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for staying put. So today, I'd like us to talk about how long should dating period last? Like how long should someone date for them to comfortably settle in marriage? Is there a time period? Should they date for years? Should they date for months? Should they do not date at all? Or should they take forever? Like what should, what is the time period a dating relationship should last? First and foremost, I'd like to say that there's no universally acceptable time period and any time is good time, depending on the individuals in this dating relationship. I like to say that dating is actually a time period where you're learning your partner. You get to know about them, you get to know them, you get to know what they like, you get to know how they behave in different circumstances, you get to know things about them so that when you're getting into this relationship called marriage or when you're deciding it, when you're deciding is this actually the person I want to settle with you've got some information you're not just making a decision out of the blues or you are making an informed decision whether to marry them or not it's a different exam for everyone and since we are all unique we when we get into a relationship it's something that is unique for for everyone that relationship a cannot be the same as relationship b and what what worked for a cannot be the same thing that works for b so first and foremost do not marry a stranger if you don't have anything about this person if you don't have any information about this person don't make that decision to marry a stranger like even if you're being pressurized by time by whatever is making you want to marry this person they might be your friends they might just be somebody that you know about you know there's a difference between knowing and knowing about so ensure you know them don't marry a stranger secondly don't waste time you know most people get into a relationship and they're just wasting time we you're there what, first year second year third year and you still say that you're learning about them you're still knowing them you're just wasting time my brother my sister let me just tell you the truth some people waste time because when it comes to dating it is quality not quantity of time let's say there are people who can meet for three months and they are good to go like they've gotten the the right information for them to make that decision to settle in marriage so don't don't just be there thinking that if i take long it if i count many years then it will be an advantage to me some people can take years and barely know each other so don't count the days make the days count wow it's dumb so if you have your notebook ensure that you write that that don't count the days make the days count that don't just say we've been dating for years you've been dating for months you've been dating for this period is that period equivalent to the information yeah. Yeah. another thing is that there are people who are afraid others feel like if i date for long i'll now have that confidence to jump into marriage there's nothing like that let me tell you you might have all the time that is required for you to date but still end up with somebody that is not known to you like there are some things that just you get you know some things that get to you know get to appear the moment you're in marriage don't be so afraid don't think like have i gathered enough information if provided you've gotten the things that you wanted like the important the non-negotiables hmm? if you've learned maybe this is the list you have that these are the things i must know about my partner before i give in into marriage or before i marry them then ensure that you stick to that list. There's some things, even if you are given ages, even if you are given years, even if you are given all the time, 
it will take you the context of marriage for you to learn also have the leading of the holy ghost and make your decision out of a place of information don't just don't just make it you know don't just say if our our grandparents in the old age used to have you know these planned marriages and it worked i can also just meet a stranger and get married to them it will just work anyway we are in a generation that has really changed morally this generation is just indecent you know like so you cannot just compare the olden days and the current days everyone is unique there are those that take long to open up you know like they are kind of slow they'll take their time to open up about themselves and so when you want to take them very fast they feel they feel like you're 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 too fast so be very careful know you know each other know how long this person wants to stay maybe they still have other things they are doing in life so they don't have that time to settle quickly or maybe if it's an agreement it's something you can agree you can say let me pursue my career and then after that after this and this is where is done we get married so it's also an agreement agree with your partner so that it's not a fight it's not one person is forcing things to go fast and the other person is you know pulling you pulling the relationship behind let there be a mutual agreement we want to settle after this time period and if it's not working for you it's a good sign that this could not be the relationship for you so don't force things don't force somebody don't push somebody to settle quickly don't pull somebody to settle later let it be as per your agreement if it's something that goes well with you well and good stay there and work on your timelines let the timelines for relationships be clearly outlined so that not one person you are on the same page so that you're on one on the same page and this relationship flows easily there are people who never even dated and yet they have a good time there are those that dated for long their marriages are still working so it depends on yourself personally i don't even have a time limit because i can't be here telling you take two years take one year and yet i never even dated uh, for our case in the second date mark me right second date we were already planning our wedding we were already planning our uh our, our you know what are they called these traditional events when am i coming to visit your parents when are you coming to my place you know we had already set dates by the second date date like yes dates so and it's working i'm almost standing one year in marriage and it's working so it's only that you your background can also determine because if i met a friend my husband was somebody i knew from some years past so when we just decided like hey the god, Lord god is leading me to you it was a sure deal it was not something we were now starting to think where is he coming from where is he do i even know his religion sure you subscribe to my channel and let's meet in the next video goodbye